so generally I land in a city for a couple of reasons. If I land there to do the production design on a film, the first thing you do other than looking at the locations where you might want to set the story and looking at studios and available spaces that have high heights and large expanse where you could build a set or build a marketplace or build an aeroplane, you start looking at what's available in the city. I have things that I know I'm looking for and then things that surprise me. And as an artist, my camera is like a notebook. I mean, sometimes I go to the market actually and just look at food close-ups. When I was a child, I had a scrapbook and I would go and pick up things and put them into the scrapbook. And so one of the things that I also do when I go to a city is look for mm. lettering and fonting and numbering on the walls of the city. It's like my constant obsession. And it's also one that introduces me to the flavor of that part of town. Put this in water yeah. and then you leave it. For someone who has seen so much of visual material, someone who has done so much work, she retains a curiosity that is almost like someone is looking at, a, at an object for the first time. I mean, she looks at anything, a table, a, poster as though she's never seen one before, which is a remarkable quality. I like uh, this because it's so kind of grey and lovely and then there's this little white, almost like a zebra crossing on the ground. Aradna and I were talking about some kind of public art project that she could do here, given that she builds these massive sets. But what do you do with someone who gets, a, I don't know, and works on a couple of million dollar design budgets? We couldn't do that. So we're like, okay, what can you do for 5,000? I love your backdrop. It's so magnificently kitsch. I'd say the idea he had was to speak about film and art in Vancouver. And I said to him that I'm not so interested in speaking publicly. I'd rather have multiple conversations one after the other. The first time actually it emerged in my mind, the idea of a photo studio, was we needed to shoot a couple in a movie. So for West is West, we needed a couple whose family portrait was their marriage. And so we created a studio for them and shot the photograph in the studio. I think it was already seeded in my head to do some, to do a kind of studio rendition of people sitting for a portrait. Historically, in the past, there were hundreds of studios all over the country in India where families would go and get their photographs taken. They would come with... The, the couple would come, the children would come, sometimes they would dress up in... Uh, costumes from another part of the country and come and pose. And that became like their mantelpiece photograph. I'm gonna go to this exhibit anyway, so yeah. why not throw on a dinosaur costume? Just had, had it. it in my closet, just sitting there. As you do. This is one of two, actually. I've got another you one. You have another I have one. another one. It's inflatable. But <laughs> so, you know, the interesting thing is that the camera came to India about a year after it was invented. So almost immediately it shows up in this new colonized land and everything is photographed. Um, but there's something when in, uh, photography became particularly Indian is that I think as a culture we completely rejected realism. Uh, it was not acceptable to just shoot a photograph 
there had to be some crazy backdrop, some sort of fantasy involved, make believe, dress up, or you paint it onto the photograph to transform it a little bit. And this idea of photography as a realist medium is um, is not something that uh, that the Indian eye really took to. So it's really interesting this backdrop that Aradhana has, which was painted by the truck painters who worked on Darjeeling Limited for Wes Anderson. There was the cart and there was the painting that was part of the cart and she was over there and she was reaching her hand and smoothing out a ripple in this blue blue sky and as soon as I saw that I was like a kid <laughs> with candy like I was just pulled into the gesture. We always said if we can capture you for five seconds we got you. So if we can stop you and you look around and you say, oh, and you start maybe talking to the person beside you or there's some kind of engagement happens, all of a sudden you now have community. also great because then we can shally it and then email a uh, real life in real life been to the transfer when you have a conversation with somebody that you don't know who's a total stranger it starts from point zero and then they, they sit down and you start a verbal or non-verbal conversation with them and over the course of those 10 minutes or 15 minutes that they are in conversation, you come away with getting a little insight on to a little tiny fraction of their life, either what they want to reveal or what they really reveal. How long have you been doing this for? So were you just walking by? Or I'm on a really, really long road trip. Got the photograph taken, they processed it. But it's a contested space, right? I'm uh, an artist, I would consider myself a It's a good an leadership mm -hmm. on balance. Oh, good. And I also think much credit to the community. And Vancouver is a film town, so people are always curious about what kind of filming is going on. Right. And there's a lot of there's hoping about the community. Maybe I might be in that film. This is the last Hi. lot. Okay. Yeah? It's all in. I saw this art piece as an investigation. And sometimes I think it takes an outsider's view to let people who live here kind of talk about their own place. What was very interesting is the conversations that Aradna had created an intimacy between her and her subject. So people were not formal and stiff. Uh, like in a studio, they were relaxed. They were being photographed exactly as they wanted to be, exactly as they felt. just wanted to have something in which the process was as important, in which uh, conversations with people, in which the act of making this, in which uh, opening up the city to be a public art space was in fact the result that was intended. <laughs>